In this illustration, we intend to simulate the progressive collapse of joint in the stale moment frame in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model includes beam, column, and stiffener. In this question, a vertical loading is applied to the top of the column, and following that, the force displacement diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the force displacement diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In these pictures, the deformation of the model under vertical loading can be observed. In this picture, the contour of the equivalent plastic strain can be observed. In the last picture, the deformation of model at the start and end of the analysis has been displayed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Progressive Collapse Behavior of Joints in Still Moment Frames Involving Reduced Beam Section. Here, the experimental model can be observed. I will click on Translate Instance, select the beam, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. Then I will move the beam as much as 100 millimeters downwards. I click on general menu, then on density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. I click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic. Young modulus is equal to 
202,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. I'll click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. The yield stress is equal to 295 megapascal and the ultimate stress is equal to 460 megapascal. I will make a copy of this material and name that Beam Flange. Click on Edit. Young Modulus is equal to 204,000 megapascal. Yield Stress is equal to 285 megapascal. Ultimate stress is equal to 463 megapascal. As you observe, maximum strain has occurred in the bottom flange of the beams. Actually, this is the area where damage and collapse will uh, to effectively take place. As you observe, damage will occur in this point. In the next step, we intend uh, to draw the force displacement diagram. In fact, uh, we intend to draw such a diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XPy Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here, I will select Unique Nodal. Select Reaction Force directed at Y and Displacement directed at Y. Here, I will select Set 14 and this set is related to the place of loading. I will click on Create XPy Data, select Operate on XPy Data, and continue. I will select Combine. First, I'll select U2 and then RF2. I will put one negative sign here and one here, and click on Save As. Here you observe the force displacement diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel file.
the first uh, column is displacement the unit of which is a millimeter the second column is force the unit of which is newton Here, uh, the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that uh, the question has been simulated properly and correctly in the Abacus software.